Yo, dog. I heard you like exclusives. Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here, and we just got that brand new red iPhone. Now we have a new matte black OnePlus 3T. So I've said it before, and I'll say it again, matte black, all of the things. So OnePlus, a couple days ago, announced a Colette version of their OnePlus 3T, the latest phone. A collaboration which meant they would only be making 250 of them, and you could only buy it if you either live in or fly to Paris, because they're only selling it in this one Colette pop-up store there. It, basically, it wasn't even for sale for most people. But I think OnePlus hears the matte black hype train loud and clear, because now they're doing a full-on production run of this, what they're calling Midnight Black, OnePlus 3T. It's this all matte black phone. It's essentially what Apple did with the iPhone 7, a refresh of the exact same product with a new coat of paint. So with this phone, you used to have just gunmetal and gold as your color choices. Now you can choose gunmetal, gold, or this black. And that gunmetal was just a little bit darker than the silver from the OnePlus 3 of earlier last year. But now you can see with them all lined up that they really went all out with the matte black this time. I'd say pretty much on par with the matte black iPhone. The matte black is actually slightly less photogenic than the red, but in a good way. It's way more stealthy, and that is why I've liked matte black text so much. Now, obviously, you're looking at one of the super rare Colette Edition OnePlus 3Ts here, which has the sickest box, by the way, all red and black with the blue sleeve around it. But the Midnight Black OnePlus 3T that's going to be available for everyone to buy is exactly the same minus the Colette logo. That's it. So if you can imagine that, just without the logo, there you have it. Midnight Black OnePlus 3T. And this thing's gonna be available March 28th, and apparently for, again, a limited time, unlike the iPhone, but they're gonna make way more than 250 of them, so it should be able to be picked up if you want one. Not sure exactly how much that means they're gonna make, but everything else, again, about the phone is exactly the same as the standard Color Brother. Same specs, same storage, same 128 gigs with six gigs of RAM, same cameras, same speakers, same accessories, and same price, 479 bucks. But something you should know is this phone is also right next up in line for Android 7.1.1 update that is pretty much rolling out as I speak. It's funny, the first phone to get Android 7.1.1 that's not a Nexus or a Pixel of any kind was the ZTE Axon 7, curiously enough. And then the second one is this phone, the 3T. So I guess this phone is aging pretty well so far aside from just the new color. I think it should continue to get patches and updates since Oxygen OS is so lightweight. Now, some may see this as like a cheap, easy way to take advantage of a refreshed news cycle, you know, re-release the same exact product, fresh coat of paint, whatever, no big deal. But let me tell you why I'm happy that they went with matte black and why everyone should get on the matte black train. The absolute best technology, and I think the ones that just work and that no one has to really worry about, it just melts away and is sort of in the background. Like this Asus monitor, for example, is my favorite I've ever used, not because it's beautiful or anything, but because I can completely ignore it when using the software on it. I actually replaced the LG 5K back with this guy for this exact reason. It would be even better without the logos on the front of it, but there's a reason why you pretty much never see TV bezels that are white. They're always dark. My favorite looking phones, when given the choice, are pretty much always the least shiny and least fancy looking and always the ones with the darker bezels. For these little things like watching a video with black bezels is less distracting than white bezels. And with the super thin bezels we've been seeing in 2017, if you're gonna go with thin bezels, you might as well make them black instead of defeating the purpose and making them like gold or white or something. So the most undercover, stealthy, low profile look for any tech product is matte black. So all aboard the matte black hype train and I'm happy they went with matte black for the OnePlus 3T. Now, if you want to win one of the Colette Edition, super limited edition, one of 250 phones, I will be giving one of these away pretty soon, and it's gonna be over on Instagram. So I'll link that below the like button. If you wanna get in on that, be sure to follow over there. That's gonna be happening sometime pretty soon from when this is uploaded. But that's pretty much it. So this is everything you need to know about the Midnight Black OnePlus 3T. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.